Well, hello there, Capricorn. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot. I'm a witch and a tarot card reader, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising Venus, Capricorn for the week of December 13th. If this one isn't resonating with you so much, Capricorn, go ahead and check out your natal chart, specifically your moon and your Venus sign. Your moon sign is your emotional center. Venus is how you show up in relationships. You might want to do that anyway, since there could be messages there for you. Personally, whenever I check out tarot readings, I make sure that I always hit those too. By the way, my Capricorn, or my Venus is in Capricorn. So if you are a cross watcher, keep in mind that the energies here could be vice versa or flip-flopped. Take this however it resonates. This is a reading for the collective, so not everything will match up. And if you would like your own private reading, you can find all of my info down below in the description box. I'm doing $50 readings that are a lot like the ones I do here on YouTube, where it's a deep dive into like one relationship, one situation. Or if you have lots of questions, if you want a bigger, like fuller picture, there's something complex in the situation. I also have 10 questions, $75 readings. Again, all of that is down below. We are looking at the overall energy, and then we're going to check out your person. We're going to check out you. I'm going to pull uh, some clarifiers here, and we'll see what's up. Um, while I have you here, please like and subscribe, since I do free weekly readings here on YouTube for all the signs. So let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. To me, this is like when we're trying to push something under our own timetable, versus uh, divine timing or the universe's timetable. We have hand of cards, take a chance, risk, being strategic, options, not showing your hand, gambling. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So there's something here that you may have some resistance to. I think you're being given an offer. We have the page of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. So that is technically your energy, but the page of pentacles can mean something of value. Pentacles are about time, effort, energy. This is someone giving you something. Two of pentacles, weighing your options, going back and forth, unsure. Yeah, four of cups here, missing out on opportunities, not sure that you like the options here. There's something that you're being given that you seem a little bit underwhelmed by. That's kind of the, the feeling I get. But check out your Lenormand. You have the child, which is newness. It's innocence. Uh, the stork is transformation. I think this might be a better offer than you think it is. But maybe it isn't happening on your timetable. Or maybe it just doesn't meet your expectations. Anyway, we're, we're going to dig into this. We're going to check out your person and check out you. But... There's something here that maybe you're not too sure about. All right. Mm, okay, Cap. Yeah, you have an offer. You can see the Ace of Pentacles here. This is something being handed to you. So you can see the roots there. Um, the Aces are starts of new cycles. They're new beginnings. Uh, they are opportunities that we get the chance to take advantage of. And that's kind of how I see destiny. Like we have options, we have opportunities, and then we decide whether or not we take them, right? If you don't take something that comes your way, well, you get a different path or a different tweak on the path that you're on. Seven of Pentacles here is something growing. Seven of Pentacles is planting seeds. You can see the little roots down here. There's lots of roots here. Like this thing will grow, whatever this is. FYI, for some of you, this is a relationship um, that may start as like a friendship or it may start as a situationship, something small that you're not sure you're into, like you're into. But we have the Ten of Pentacles here. That is security. It's stability. This could lead to a very stable, very secure relationship. Um, for some of you, this is like a job that's going to lead to financial security or this is a business that you're starting um, that is going to lead to something stable that way. Because we are talking about Capricorn and, well, coins and Capricorn go along together. They just do. 
we have the king of pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Technically, that's you. This is your energy. There could be another earth sign that you're dealing with. For some of you, you haven't met this person. For others of you, you could have met this person and just kind of been like, mm, I don't think I want to go for coffee with you or I don't like you could have gotten like a message from them on a dating app and you're like, no, thanks. It's something like that. But this King of Pentacles is very steady, very stable, very grounded, very centered, reliable. Four of Wands is stability. It's also coming home. It's um, a celebration. For some of you, this could be a reconciliation. That is a possibility here as well. We have the Wheel of Fortune, which is associated with the fixed signs. That's Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. There's a sense of fate or destiny. Like this is an option coming your way. It's part of your path. You say yes or no. This is a big opportunity though, even though it doesn't look like it. All right, let's pull some clarifiers here. I shuffled ahead of time, but I'm going to do a couple more just to kind of shake up the energy and see what shakes loose. So what is going on with this person? Or this offer. For some of you, this is definitely financial. Oh, okay. Yeah, we have the Six of Pentacles here, which is, it's being given something. Hold on. Now you can see it. All right. So a lot of people will see this as balance. But I don't see this as balance at all. There is a scales here, but this is being given something. This is people receiving. I don't really love the imagery here, but this is a classic deck. It's like giving alms back in medieval times to lepers. So what is going on with this offer? We have the page of wands. That's communication. Um, this could be a new path for you. You can see the walking stick that he's carrying, right? Page of wands sometimes is about following your excitement, following your bliss, taking the path, like the road less traveled, to use a literary reference. And I need to show you the bottom of the deck. See? Ten of Pentacles. You want this offer. Whatever this is, it doesn't look like much yet, but it will. All right. Oh, the Pentacles of it all. Ooh, all right. We have the Justice card, Libra Energy. Justice can mean truth. It can mean ethics. Um, sometimes it's about the judicial system, so I don't know if like maybe there's a settlement being offered to you. That's not for everyone, but that's certainly a possibility here with what's on the table. Um, the justice card may also be someone apologizing to you, and you maybe someone that you've had a previous relationship with, and you're like, mm, I don't know if that's really worth my time, but maybe it is. All right. Let's do one more and see what comes out. <laughs> okay, I get it. We have the Ace of Pentacles. That is the start of a new cycle. It's an offer. So I just love when Tarot is like, dummy, pay attention. <laughs> I'm paying attention. It is the Ace of Pentacles here. All right, let's go ahead and check out your energy. Hmm. So there is something coming towards you. Three of Wands is waiting for your ships to come in. It's being patient. It's manifesting. Also manifestation energy with the magician over there. That is Aquarius, Gemini energy, also a little bit Aries. It's being very intentional. The magician is associated with words, uh, associated with the planet Mercury, all about communication, technology. So this is like, answer your phone, okay? Be very intentional in the way that you speak. Don't turn down an opportunity that's coming your way. 
Five of Pentacles in reverse is getting rid of a sense of lack. For some of you, this is definitely financial. Um, there's a job or a settlement or just money headed your way with that Five of Pentacles in reverse. It can also mean feeling lonely, feeling abandoned. This could have been someone who walked out on you that's coming back and it's getting rid of that feeling of abandonment. Six of Pentacles is an offer that came out earlier. This is being given something. One hand is outstretched, the other is putting coins into it. And Pentacles are all about, you know, the time and the effort and the energy and value. We have the sun. This is Leo energy. It could mean a period of warmth and happiness for you. The sun could also mean clarity. It's understanding. It's seeing something for what it is. King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy, specifically Leo here, especially with the sun showing up. Some of you might have Leo in your chart or you're dealing with the Leo or we're dealing with the Leo, but it could also be your time to shine here. Um, King of Wands is action oriented, uh, very much a go-getter, uh, very much a creative kind of a person. This could represent your energy that you're bringing or the person that you're dealing with. They're a go-getter. I think that's why I like using fire energy in manifestation work that I do. It speeds things up. It's action-oriented. If you think about burning something, right? Um, it's a big activation for a spell. And it's super convenient. All right. What is going on with Cap? Oh, all right. We had a bit of a card explosion. All right. All right. Okay. King of Pentacles here. That is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. This is you. This is your energy. It's also stability. We have the star card, Aquarius energy, being hopeful, being wishful, uh, wishing on a star, and boom, the Ace of Wands. A fresh new start, excitement, passion, power, pursuing something, putting some action in. I think you should take advantage of this opportunity. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. If this resonated, let me know down below. Uh, if you want to order your own reading, you can also find that down below. If you want to join my membership and get access to all of the extended readings for every single sign, you can click the join button down below. It won't show up for you if you happen to be on an Apple device. Um, they're having a war with Google, so you'd have to do it on a desktop. All right. If you stick around for the extended reading, I'm going to do some feelings like how this person's feeling about you, as well as some advice. And I'm going to give you the opportunity to ask a question. All right. Blessed be.